Welcome to Security Guy Radio at Black Hat 2016. What's your name, sir? Thank you. My name is Torsten George. I'm the VP of Global Marketing and Products at RiskSense. And what does RiskSense do? RiskSense, we're assisting enterprises and governments to reveal cyber risk, orchestrate the remediation, and then monitor the results. Wow. wow. I like the way that sounds. Yeah, it reveal, sounds- orchestrate, and monitor. Those are three, three simple steps. Well, that's right. There's three simple concepts because a lot of times people come on here and talk about these giant words that I can't pronounce <laughs> and boiling it down to something that's simple. Three steps that's makes excellent. a lot of sense. Yeah. Keep your mind from just a little bit. Sure. Like that for me. All right. So break down those three components for me. So reveal is interesting because uh, what we're hearing at Black Hat is real time isn't real time. That guy might have been in there for a week or a month and you don't know it. Right. So yes. how does the reveal part work with you guys? So I think the biggest challenge in cybersecurity right now is that we're living in a siloed world. So you have all the best of pre tools and Target was a perfect example. They had all the right tools in place and the tools worked. And then you have to unfortunately try to connect the dots between these tools. Yeah, that's the challenge. Each of them produces hundreds of pages of reports and you would have to hire a legion of people to connect the dots. Unfortunately, there are no people out there. Right. We have a shortage. So what we do is we're ingesting all these different internal security sources. We're aggregating it. And then in the next step, we're contextualizing it. We're overlaying it with external threat data. We have our own oh, proprietary technology okay. that goes yeah. out into the darknet, looks at hacker forums. We have our own exploit writers that do proof of concepts because it's important. You might recall we had the pool of vulnerability in 2014. That was rated by the National Vulnerability Database at a 5.5. No company is doing anything under a threshold of 7. But if they would have known that at that time there are hundreds of thousands of attacks, life attacks at that time going on, exploiting that vulnerability, you would have completely changed your, your priorities. So where do you get your data to do the overlay? So we have uh, 60 uh, external threat sources, and then we have our own proprietary technology. So we really go out in the internet, we look at the vendor side, because another thing is that you have to remember, when a vendor posts that they have a vulnerability in their product, and before it makes it into the national vulnerability database, there's often a lag time of up to 120 days. What? So during that time, you're basically having a blind spot. 120 days? Yes. Why is that? It, Got to go to the lawyers the, or something, or what? Yeah, it's the process of wow. submitting it and trying to score it. How do you how do you lengthen that, shorten that time? I mean, how do you? Well, we in our case, because we have our technology that also looks at the vendor information. Right. We cover those zero day vulnerabilities. We are already looking at what do they post before it even shows up in oh, the national I see. vulnerability okay. database. Interesting. Yeah, and then on the other hand, we look at the hackers. What are they doing? What are they talking about? We're really grasping the communication. We're grasping the uh, exploits and really take this into account, feed it back into the platform. And then very important for us, it's about cyber risk, not cyber security. Risk is made up of three factors, your vulnerabilities, your threats, but more importantly, business criticality. If I don't know the difference between a coffee server, which keeps my employees (laughs) awake, but an email server, yeah. which keeps my business running, I might misalign my resources. So Turn your microphone important. just a little bit towards you. Yep. Like, good. Yep. Now, Ms. Charisse, Yes. this sounds like really cool stuff. It is. Uh, have you heard of this kind of process and how they do it? It seems different to me. I don't know a lot about it, but it, it seems like it's a little different than the average people, the way you're describing the it. Me- uh, the methodology is, is kind of consistent within the industry. Your vulnerabilities, your threats, and criticality of assets, those are the key domains to being able to identify your risk posture. Um, what I think is different is that they're really simplifying it down because a lot of technologies, while they're there to help, can get very convoluted yeah. in the people aspect of managing and maintaining the data. And so how, how is your technology different in that sense? So we have uh, what we call human guided machine learning technology as part of it. So a customer can define under which conditions they want to automate things or they want to do it semi-automatic. Another thing that is very unique to us, which is completely different from the industry, if you walk Black Hat the show floor right now, you see a lot of vendors and even end users are still focused on the network layer. Fact is, though, if you look at the post-mortem analysis of data breaches, that nowadays 84% of data breaches 
uh, originated in the application layer. So for no. us, we're looking at the growing attack surface. We're not just focusing on the network layer. We look at the application layer, at the human layer, the human at layer. the database layer. So it's very important to take all of these aspects. Into I like account. this approach. This I would describe this as offensive. Would you describe it as offensive? We call it proactive. Okay. Yep. Very similar, uh, offensive yeah. is offensive, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> politically correct. I'm not politically correct. I don't care. But uh, I like that approach. You're, you're, you're finding them before they get there. You're, or you're saying, listen, you, this guy's a level one today, but our analysis says he's going to be level seven next week. You better stop it now. E exactly. And it's it's threats are changing in a minute, correct? Right. So you have to do a temporal analysis. You can't take snapshots. Sim systems look at things that already happened. You have to constantly revet what does the threat do today? What does it do tomorrow? And the uniqueness of the company really results that we have a quite unique DNA. It's, uh, it's something that you don't hear a lot of times. We're a spin-off of New Mexico Tech, one of the leading cybersecurity programs from an educational point of view. Our co-founder and CEO was a professor teaching cybersecurity and got tapped by the Department of Defense by intelligence communities and worked for them for many, many years to help them define best practices. And after doing it for so many years, he said, hey, our knowledge, our expertise, right. we should bring to a broader audience. So that's when we put this into a software as a service model. Okay, what's the second level you go to? We did the first one, which was we're doing the overlay, we're finding it, yeah. then we go so, to... So now, obviously, we, we revealed the cyber risk. You revealed it, right? Now we have to really prioritize it and remediate it. The prioritization comes with the business criticality, as I talked about. So now we show you really a list. These are the five things that you really need to do if you want to operate your business. And we have built in workflow engines. We have built in ticketing system that allow That's now key. to close the gap. And operationalize between it. Between security and IT. Correct? Operationalize it. That's and right. operationalize exactly. the recommendations. And it goes even beyond that. There are two more concepts that we apply. So we offer so-called playbooks. We know IT is normally not as sophisticated as security. Sorry yeah. to yeah. Em embarrass <laughs> somebody, but that's often the case. The and focus they would have, is different. Yeah, they would have to spend a lot of time to really understand what steps do they need to take to fix the things that security threw over right. the fence. We give them playbooks, meaning step-by-step -step instructions. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, that's they great. Need to do. So it, it really to shortens remediate. the time to the remediation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then very important for us is what we call closed loop remediation. So a lot of companies, I have a vulnerability, fix it. Okay, IT guy goes, applies a patch if it's available, closes the ticket. Not a good idea in reality because you don't know if it was effective or not. Maybe right. he made a mistake by applying the patch. You have to test it. We only close the ticket once your internal security intelligence tools confirmed that the vulnerability is no longer there. And is that through an internal scanning engine? Well, we use third parties. So we're okay. Switzerland. We're kind of orchestration layer. So we integrate with Rapid7, Flawless. All your big top, yeah, top names. Of, yeah, everybody we can ingest okay. them. So we're not a scanner company ourselves. Sure. We're just that orchestration layer. Excellent. And then last but not least, that, that monitoring of results is one thing in the closed loop process that you really check that things were effective, but then also you have to see, are your investments, are your alignment of resources, are they producing the return on investment? So you want to show over time, okay, is my number of vulnerabilities going down? How much resources do I spend on fixing things? So that's what we monitor too, and we do that in a visual fashion, so you can report up to the board, to the C-suite, they, they don't need to understand the nitty-gritty details of right. security. Well, they, they want one page. Like, yeah. They want one yeah. page. Exactly. And we talk about that in some other shows. The visualization mm -hmm. piece is kind of a new thing yes. Yes. to get them to get it. Exactly. Not that they're not intelligent. It's just well, it's, that they have, their time is a valuable And they issue. have a different nomenclature, correct? Right. They're, they're yeah. talking in business terms, and it's our job to translate, basically, from yes. down the nitty-gritty security uh, blurb up to business objectives. Excellent. This is fascinating. Give yeah. us your website address. It's uh, www.resense.com. Excellent. Excellent. And your name and Forrest title? Justin George, VP Marketing and Products at Resense. You going to come on and do a 60 minute show with me? Sure. I think this is fascinating. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I, I feel much better. Absolutely. Now, you got to put that on security guard radio because I got hacked before I got here. So <laughs> oh, I need gosh. some of these layers yes. here to help me out. Thanks for coming okay. on Thank the show. Thank you for coming on. Thanks.
Yeah, I opened up.